Hello everyone, my name is Prasant Agrawal, Senior Search Specialist Solution Architect in AWS. I primarily focus on Amazon Open Source Service. Today I'm going to talk about a new serverless option for Amazon Open Source Service, followed by a demo showing how you can build a log analytics pipeline using Open Source Serverless. Before getting into a demo, let's see what is Open Source Serverless. So Open Source Serverless makes it easy for you to run large scale search and analytics workload without having to configure, manage, or scale open source cluster. It automatically provisions and scales the underlying resources to deliver fast data ingestion and query responses for even the most demanding and unpredictable workloads. One good thing with open source serverless is it uses the same API, like clients, ingest pipeline, and tools, which you would use in case of open source project or provision open source service to ingest your documents and run query against those datasets. Lastly, you only pay for what you use, and this makes a cost-effective solution to run open source. So let's see what innovation has been done with serverless. So today, if you look at data node, it will run ingestion as well as search. Serverless separates out the indexing component from the search component, with Amazon S3 being the primary data storage for indexes. This decoupled architecture lets you scale search and indexing function independently of each other and independently of the index data into the S3. Then there are active nodes to handle the traffic and in order to ensure, ensure high availability, it also launches a standby set of nodes in another availability zone for indexing and a replica for the search. Now talking about security, it has a tight security mesh by providing encryption at rest and in motion. Then it also has network policy where you can set up open search to be accessible via VPC or public internet. At last, it comes with the open search dashboard which you can use to create visualization and dashboards to interact with your data. So let's jump onto a demo and see how it works in Excel. We start with navigate to AWS console and search for the open search service over here. Once you click on the open search, you will find a new option for the serverless. And the first thing you need to know with serverless is that serverless has the concept of collection. So collection is a logical grouping of one or more indexes where open source service automatically manages and tune the collection requiring minimal manual input. To start with, I click on create a collection. So at a high level, open source serverless supports two primary use cases. One is log analytics that focus on analyzing large volume of log data. And second one is the full text search that powers the customer application for like uh, e-commerce website, catalog search and the content search. So to start with, so let's have the name for your serverless collection. I'm going to put serverless demo as the collection name. Then you can put some description over here. And then depending upon the use case, you can select either time series for the logs or search for the full text search. In this demo, I'm going to use a time series collection where I have set of sample data and I will talk about it in a bit. So now you choose the encryption policy. So encryption help you to encrypt the data at rest as well as in motion. Here you have an option to either let AWS choose the KMS key for you or you can choose your own KMS key for the encryption. So this is one of the key differentiator for multi-tenant workload where you can have separate KMS key for each collection. So for this demo, I'm letting the AWS choose the KMS key over here. So next you have the network, network policy which can be used to configure if your collection should be accessible over public internet or on the VPC. So for this demo, I'm going to create a collection with the public access type. And here you have an option where you can select the resource type, like what all access you want to provide, whether you only want to provide the access for the open search endpoint, or you also want to add the access for the open search dashboard. Now you can click on create collection. So it takes a couple of minutes to create the collection. And once collection is created, you can navigate to the open search dashboard and log in with your OIN credentials. So by the time collection is getting created, let me navigate to a workshop, which I will be using for this particular demo. So here I have a Python sample, which is simulating IoT data coming from various fleets. It's kind of a fleet analytics where we are capturing the details such as origin and destination, traffic condition, weather condition, and much more. So goal of this uh, demo is to get a dashboard which can help answer the questions such as what is the average fuel consumed by a specific fleet, what are the traffic conditions, what is the distance traveled, what is the average, mile by, my average mileage by a fleet. So there are some prerequisites uh, which we need to do such as setting up the Python environment, 
and installing OpenSearch Pi library for the client. As I already mentioned, like you can use the same API client and the tools what you would use for the OpenSearch project or the managed service. Then you need to configure the AWS credential to set up your access key and secret key. And at last, what you can do is you can download this Python data generator. So this is a sample data simulate simulator. And then you need to change two things. So one is the host, which you need to make changes, like whatever you get as part of the collection creation. And then you need to mention like on what particular region you are running this particular demo. So let's go back and see if collection is created. So now my collection is created and you can get the OpenSearch dashboard URL which you can access to explore data and create visualization. So here we will log in it with the IM credentials. So after clicking on login, you will be able to access the dashboard and check out the component like uh, what all features are available within the OpenSearch dashboard. But the thing is, it will not work with the ingestion or search. So for example, if you navigate to the dev tools and run any command, for example, I'm running the match all query, which is querying across all the data. So here you are getting the error like uh, bad authorization. So the reason behind that is if you navigate to your collection, on the top you can see your collection cannot be accessed yet because you need to configure the data access policy and allow the permission to read or write to your indices. So basically at a high level, whenever you create a collection, you can access the open search dashboard, but if you want to interact with your data, then you need to create a data policy for that one. So in that scenario, let's go and create a data policy for this one. You can click on manage data access over here, then create access policy. Then you can specify access policy name. So maybe I'm adding the serverless demo, some description. And at the bottom, you have an option where you can create the policy using the visual editor or you can create it using the JSON. So you can specify a rule name. So maybe I'm adding a rule name as demo. And then you need to select the principle. So here you have an option to add the author authorization or the data access policy by using the IM user and roles, or you can set up the SAML for the single sign-on. For this demo, I'm going to use the IM user and role. And here I have a user with a serverless demo, so selecting that user. And then at the bottom, you need to select grant resources. And here you can specify what all permission you want to give for this particular user. So at the collection level, you can specify the policy like whether they can create or describe the alias template etc so selecting the collection name as serverless demo and then at the bottom you can set up the policy for the index where you can define like what all access you want to give so i'm giving the collection name as serverless demo and then i'm providing the star so this is the wildcard policy so that this particular user will have all the read and write access to all of the indices in this particular collection once you click on the grant permission, now you can click on create policy. So now we have the data access policy created and we will jump on to, to run the Python sample which will start simulating the data for this particular demo. So in this scenario, you can run it either from your local machine or you can go to an EC2 instance and then set up the Python environment and then run the Python code. I'm using the EC2 instance for running this demo. So if you recall, I had a prerequisite and sample code over here, which I mentioned in the workshop. So I have got all the prerequisites set up over here. And the only thing is I need to probably add the code and uh, then I need to update it with the collection endpoint, which I got it over here. So then I'm just copying the collection endpoint and then I will be copying all the code what we have as part of the Python data generator. So now I go to my EC2 instance, open my Python data generator file, then add all the codes from that particular workshop, save it. Now I have the code and now I can run this particular code. So I can run it by using the command Python 3. So, and then specifying my Python data generator file. Now you can navigate to open search dashboard and go to dev tools. Inside DevTools, you can run the command octank star slash underscore search and then it will get you the data back what is being simulated by this Python code. And what I have is I have some pre-built dashboard for this particular demo. So you can go to the workshop 
and then download the sample dashboard from here which is the log analytics export and now what you can do is you can go to your open search dashboard go to the stack management saved object and click import and then for this particular import i'm going to use my pre-built dashboard then once you click on import it will load all the default visualization and dashboard with this particular data sets now you can go to the open search dashboard click on dashboard and here you will see two dashboard has been created as part of this import one is the octank analytics that gives you a high level across all the fleets and then then one is like if you want to monitor a specific vehicle then that you can do it via the vehicle level matrix so let's jump on to the octank analytics here you can see that we have the graphs and charts for like say how many fleets are running at a time and uh, it also gives the details such as like what is the fuel consumption, how much miles more it has to go to reach to the destination, what is the average speed for a particular fleet and then at the bottom you have different charts which talks about what are the max temperature, min temperature, what is the speed of a particular vehicle. So this is the high level across all the vehicles average speed and then you get the traffic details like on what particular route you are having high traffic versus the low traffic then you have the fuel consumption then you have the weather like on what particular route you are getting the cloudy weather or there are like sunny weather and all so this is how uh, open search dashboard can be used to visualize and interact with the data and then you can use to answer the question with respect to your data so in this scenario i started with one sample so now what i can do is so I have a script which simulates the multiple iteration of this Python data generator and as of now I'm running 10 simulator for this by using this particular script. So you can see I'm just copying the Python data generator with some suffix as underscore dollar i so that I'm iterating from 0 to 10 and then starting multiple simulator. So now you can run this script by running dot slash replicate data simulator dot sh and as soon as you start this particular script it will create 10 simulator for the same python data generator and now if you go back to your dashboard you will probably see the increased number of vehicles or the fleets over here over a period of time we have total three fleets so like that simulator script is running and then it will start sending much data or kind of more data across different fleets so this concludes a quick demo so you saw how easy it is to get started with open search serverless and where you do not need to make any provisioning for resources you do not need to worry about indexing and sorting strategy and so on so what next as an action item check out the qr code to know more about the open search serverless then next if you are curious to know how other customers are using the amazon open source service and serverless you can check out our customer stories over here and then at last you can check out getting started with open source serverless workshop which i used for this particular demo and it will help you to run and set up serverless in your account with that thanks a lot for listening and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions